Hey guys, today we're going to look at methods of Glimmer storage. Glimmer has become a very popular currency in this last season, and it looks like it will become more important in Shadowkeep. In Shadowkeep, the Glimmer cap is more than doubled at 250,000 Glimmer. Upgrading a full set of armor took around 100,000 Glimmer. Glimmer is the main currency for bounties, and bounties will now offer Bright Dust. Also, you can change mods like you change your emotional attachment to armor. So you want that Glimmer to survive. You can always wait out the spider and buy Glimmer when you can. Sometimes he wants materials you don't have though. You can also buy the Platinum Starling ship from collections and then dismantle it. It costs 2,500 Glimmer and 5 shards, but dismantles into 5,000 Glimmer and 2 legendary shards. Meaning for 3 shards you get 2,500 Glimmer. This is the easiest method to gaining Glimmer because you can do this anywhere. Just pull up your collections. To get the Platinum Starling ship, you have to forge 100 weapon or research frames from the Black Armory. These methods work after Shadowkeep launches. So how can we get a head start before it launches? By storing exotics in your vault. At the cost of Glimmer, you can store Glimmer. An easy item to get is the other side Sparrow. This comes from Strike Chess. This Sparrow costs 7,500 Glimmer and 5 shards and you can dismantle it for 5,000 Glimmer and 5 shards. So every time you buy one, you lose 2,500 Glimmer, but you keep 5,000 Glimmer in your vault. Storing up tons of these can allow you to dismantle them after Shadowkeep launches to quickly earn Glimmer up to the cap. This works with a couple other items as well. This has also been a trick in Season 3, meaning it works with the Alchemical Dawn and Knight's Peace Ghost Shell. So if you have some spare vault space and some extra Glimmer, you can start saving those three items. Since we should be dismantling our ghost shells and sparrows for bright dust, you probably have a lot of extra empty space on your characters. So even if you don't have vault space, you can use this method to fill up your character's inventories with glimmer. It's important to say that Bungie is redoing the cost of collections items by removing bright dust from the value. So that could affect the value of these three items after Shadowkeep. They could end up being worth less after the patch. I don't know why they do that though. Cheese forever, Guardian.